to the Fit and Fearless Female Show. I'm your host, Steph Hendel. I'm joining you from Laguna Beach. It's such a beautiful beach day today. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Um, I'm talking about a really interesting topic today. I think you're going to love this. It's about um, figuring out if you're wearing a fat suit. And I'm going to show you the number one way to remove that fat suit if you are wearing it. So go ahead right now and um, hit that share button and share this on your page so that more people can watch, um, so that other people can hop on and tune in and join in and um, get all this awesome information and join us at the beach. So um, yeah, if you're just tuning in for the first time, if you've never seen the Fit and Fearless Female show before, um, I am your host, Steph Kendall. And I am the creator of Body Built by Love. I specifically work with women who have done diet and fitness programs so either haven't gotten the results that they want or they've gotten the results and they haven't been able to keep them or maintain it. They don't know why. Um, I, I do this specifically because this is my own journey, my own story. I tried so hard, so hard to lose weight and it just wasn't working. I was doing all the right things, but I couldn't figure out why it was not working. So the key here was the mind. That was the piece that I was missing, my mindset. So this fat suit element is a big, was a big turning point for me in my own uh, personal weight loss journey and I hope it's really helpful for you too. So here's, here's what the fat suit is all about. Everybody wears fat in different ways and in different places on your body. And let's break down fat in general. Fat is protection. We wear fat as protection. So when we put it on, we put it on to protect ourselves. And depending on where on our body we put it on, we're protecting a certain area. And different areas correspond to different things in different parts of your life and different, um, yeah, just different elements of what you're wanting to protect. William! William from New York. Hi! And yeah, oh, that reminds me too, whoever's watching, just um, pop in and say hi really quick and let us know where you're watching from. I always like to know where everybody is tuning in from. And if you're watching this later, make sure you comment also because it's just fun to see everybody on the show. Um, so, different people wear fat in different places. If you've ever noticed, sometimes you see people and they have, they're carrying their weight and their fat on their hips and their butt area, the legs. Um, some people carry it on their upper body, just in the shoulders. Some people carry it just around the stomach. Some people wear it all around their whole entire body. And so we can start with that one. Um, if you're currently somebody who's wearing it, wearing fat as your protection all over your body, actually, before we get into that, um, I just want to put it out there too that this is something that can easily be removed and we're going to, at the end of the show today, um, or well, once we get through or talk about what is the different areas that you're wearing fat, then we're going to chat about how you can remove it. So the fat suit doesn't have to stay. <laughs> if you're currently wearing it, it does not have to stay. So okay, some people um, wear the fat suit on their entire body. Most of the time, somebody who's wearing a fat suit all over the body, they got that fat suit when they were a kid. And when they were a kid, they felt the need to protect themselves in every way. And they felt like the world was hard, the world was cruel, the world was mean to them. Um, it was easy, to, they built a belief that it's easy to get hurt. Um, so they started putting on fat, fat protection. And a lot of times it's this cyclical thing. So you first start putting some fat on and then it continues, right? So once you put that fat on, it's like this cycle of like, well, it's there, so I'm gonna keep it on. It's just like keep cycling around and around and around. It's kinda hard to get it off once that happens. But um, that's a full fat suit. Some people will wear their weight on just in their upper body, like shoulders and arms, um, and then have more skinny torso, skinny legs. Um, a lot of times that's somebody who wants to appear um, a lot of times guys wear this, guys wear their fat up top here um, because they want to appear strong and broad. When a man has nice, strong, big shoulders, um, it's from a primal standpoint studying somebody and thinking that they are strong or they're a good fit to be a mate. When Normally you are putting it on in a way when it's in fat, you're wearing it because you're trying to prove yourself even though you don't truly believe it yourself. 
So um, a lot of times it's like giving off that appearance because you want to appear that way, even though you don't feel that on the inside. Another one is on the legs. So a lot of ladies will wear their fat, their fat suit on their legs or on their hips. And this is another, this is one way to also, because your legs are your base, um, the base, if we appear strong in our legs, then we think that we appear strong to the world. And most of the time, similar to the upper body thing, we are only wearing it there to try and appear strong when we're not. So when we're hurting, um, when we're feeling uncomfortable, when we're feeling sad, or um, we're trying to really take away a lot of that pain, we're wearing the, the weight on the hips and the legs. And um, a lot of times you get somebody who's wearing that feels like they have the weight of the world on their shoulders. They're wearing their fat suit on the legs. And they don't have to do that, but they feel like they do. And emotions say they do. So that's why a lot of people will wear their weight there. And we can go into all the different types um, on a different video, but one final one I'll do just really quick. And also, um, when you're wearing weight on your hips or your legs or you're feeling pain in your hips or your legs, a lot of times that's suppressed anger. Suppressed um, pain and anger. And it needs to be released, but it's stagnant and stuck there. So it's somebody who's not really dealing with their anger and probably hasn't dealt with it for a really long time. If you're wearing it around your stomach, we call that the fat inner tube, um, you're wearing it as a life protector, right? So the world is cruel, the world is tough, the world is uh, hard. You're wearing your life protector around your waist, around your stomach. So that's a lot of times, these are just like the very like tip of the iceberg, really quick, um, speedy definitions of what these areas represent. I have a lot more in depth that I can go into, but um, for now, for this video's sake, to keep it short, that's a couple of those main topics. But here's how to remove that fat. So if you're noticing that you're wearing fat, like just ask yourself, where do I wear my fat? When I have extra fat on my body, where do I wear it? Um, the way to remove it is to build mind muscle. <laughs> Building mind muscle. Nice beach view. Yeah, what's up? Greetings from Canada. Hi, hi, hi. Um, okay, so you're gonna build that mind muscle. And um, the top, yeah, that's really the number one quickest, easiest, best way to remove it. Um, so you first are gonna build mind muscle by finding when you put it on. So when was the age that you put the weight on in that area? When did you notice that you started to gather weight in that spot on your body? And ask yourself why. This is gonna involve a lot of journaling. I'm a big journaling person because it really delivers extreme breakthroughs and allows you to get the things that you want in your life when you're understanding your mind, you're building that mind muscle. So as you do that, you want to make sure that you get in there and you figure out why. So start writing about that. When was the time that you put on your fat suit? Um, why did you put on your fat suit? That's really um, a key element. Most people think weight loss is just like what you eat and how you work out, but it's really a lot more. Um, as you can tell, you put on a fat suit at a young age, no matter how well you try to eat or how much you try to work out, you're going to keep that fat suit on. You might lose a little, gain a little, lose a little, gain a little, because you're going to keep that fat suit on your body um, no matter what, because you have to prove your story true and you have to protect yourself in your mind. Um, so it's first understanding when you started to put it on and why you put it on. And then the second element of that is to realize that you don't need it. So whatever writing that's going to involve for you to say to yourself and really believe you don't need this anymore. You don't need your fat suit. You don't need to be wearing it and you don't need to be holding on to it. You don't need it for protection because you're safe. You got to um, write yourself write yourself a new story. That's the second that's the final piece of it. So you're figuring out when you put the fat suit on, why you put the fat suit on. You're figuring out um, how you can create a new story for yourself. And I think I skipped a step there, let me see. Oh yeah, realizing you don't need it. You just don't, you really don't need this anymore. And, and um, really feeling that truly deep in your heart. And then once you realize you don't need it, you create that new story. You're just like, okay, I'm creating this thing where um, that's not me anymore. And you practice that new story. That's what I'm really big on. And that's actually, I'm having a, um, a getaway to the desert really soon on June 9th and 10th. 
There's only three spots available. Um, we're keeping it small. Um, but if you want to get more into this, that's the place to do it. We're going to have time in the, in the desert. We're going to hike. We're going to meditate. We're going to do all this stuff. And it's going to break you through to figuring out more of this if, you, if you're facilitating it yourself and it's just not happening for you. Sometimes people like to facilitate it with a group better. Or I do private coaching to do that stuff too. But it's going to be really fun to do it in the desert and have like this massive break, breakthrough and transformation. And if you're interested in that, that's just... You shoot me a private message and I'll give you all the details on that. Got some epic questions coming in here. Molly's here. Woohoo! Ask yourself where do you wear your fat and what do you want to do to remove it? Is strength involved? Your mind muscle. Asking yourself how and why you protect yourself there. Yes, girl. Yes, 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 yes. It's so big, right? And it's creating a new story for yourself. Exactly. That new story is key. Because we all have a story we tell about ourselves. We all have an identity that we're constantly um, trying to prove true. And sometimes that identity sucks, let's be honest. <laughs> if your identity sucks, you get to create a new one. That's the best part about it. That's the power in all of it. You get to create a new identity at any moment, any time you want, any, any moment you want to. And um, that's what's really cool. So, um, yeah, that's basically the the main info if you have any questions about the getaway that we're doing in the desert then please feel free to ask them also don't don't even hesitate to shoot me a private message about it oh cute dogs <laughs> um yeah so it's going to be in the desert it's june 9th and 10th and it's going to be meditation it's going to be yoga it's going to be workouts it's going to be eating healthy food it's going to be very intensive because it's just going to be a small group that we're keeping. And it's going to be very, very powerful. I'm going to train you and make sure that you have your mindset in the right space, in the right place, the whole time. I'm going to make sure that you're practicing it because that's the power there. Like a lot of times people will, um, they'll create a new story, they'll write a new story and they'll try and practice but it really only happens every once in a while and we all know that consistency is what creates change so what I'll be doing is providing an environment for consistency for you so I'm gonna make sure that I am all day long for the 48 hours that we're together just constantly bringing you back bringing you back bringing you back to the new you the new reality the new story um, Molly says, yes, create a new identity, rewrite your story. Yes, rewriting your story is so powerful. And that's something that, you know, Molly and I, Molly's one of my great friends. She's amazing, by the way, which everybody should follow Molly and Luna on Facebook as well. She's the bomb. Um, and both Molly and I have rewritten our stories. I love her because she just took her life where she wanted it to go. You know, she was in a space where she said, I'm not going to settle and I'm not going to just live the life that everybody thinks I'm supposed to live and do all the shoulds and um, just go along that standard life path. She's like, I'm going to create the life I want. And she did. And she is. She's constantly up-leveling, 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 which is why she's my friend. <laughs> because I surround myself with people who like to up-level. Because I like to up-level. And you know you become the sum of the five people you surround yourself with the most. Um, but yeah, it's just creating that new identity and rewriting your story. Molly and I could write books on that because it does, it changes everything. And we've done it so many times in so many ways with so many things. And it works. And it works every time. It doesn't work sometimes, it works every time as long as you're consistent about it. And I think that's the element that most people miss is the consistency. That's why I created the month of mindset maintenance text. So for the whole month of May, the people who signed up, they get a text from me every day um, reminding them to be consistent with their thoughts. Bringing them back, bringing them back, bringing them back. So you can have the best intentions when you wake up in the morning or go to bed at night. But what about what happens in the middle? So most people in that middle part, they forget their intentions. They forget their new story. They forget their new identity. They forget to practice. So it's just giving people opportunities to practice and um, be consistent about it. So yay. Okay, cool. Well, that is the Fit and Fearless Female show today. Make sure that you go and subscribe to my Instagram channel. I always do Instagram stories. There's a lot of really good ones that I've made today. You're going to want to check that out. Some uh, booty exercises if you're wanting to lift and tone the booty. Guys too. Guys too. Um, and really good food. And beach stuff. So head over to Instagram. Follow me on YouTube. I put all my previous episodes of Fit and Fearless Female show on YouTube. All of it's just easy. YouTube slash Steph Handel. Instagram slash Steph Handel. I keep it simple. 
Um, keep it super simple. And if you're interested in the getaway on the 9th and 10th of June, shoot me a private message. And otherwise, I just hope you have the best day of your life. Oh, go to stephendel.com. Check it out. Good stuff there. Yay! You are so worthy and so deserving of this new story, this new identity, and you no longer have to wear your fat suit. You don't need it. It gets to go away. Yay. Woohoo! Love you guys. Bye.